Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about display second largest and a smallest number in an array. So suppose if I enter n value 5, so total elements I into 5 or 12, 45, 6, 32, 77. So enter a smallest elements in the array is 6. So the output display 6 is the smallest element and your second largest element is 45. So largest is to seven first largest element is 77 and second largest element is 45. So the output display second largest equal to 45. So let's do it. Next, I'm going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Here, after that, coincide. So, I have taken two integer variables. First is n, and next to tan. Also, here, after control comes to this point, console class to write method. So, what are we code? Double code so that display to the output screen. So, enter the size of array so that display to the output screen here. N. So n equal to int dot parse console dot red line. So console dot red line so that accept a string uh, values and that string value that convert into integer by using parse method dot int. So I enter whatever I am going to enter so that convert that accept integer value. So I am going to enter n value 5. Here after control comes to this point so I enter I have taken integer variable a double of so I have given the size 55 so maximum you can enter 55 elements into the array here after control comes to this point console class dot write line method so this or display into the output screen enter the elements here after control comes to this point so I have for int i so int i and your i value start from 0 that's the condition 0 less than n value 5 condi condition is to that coincide so let's enter a double of 0 percent new element so I enter a double r i equal to int dot parse so that accept a string value so that convert into integer and by using parse method and int. So let's enter a double r zero percent element. So I enter this is array. So I enter this is zero index here one next. Two here three four. So this is zero index. So zero percent I am going to enter eleven. 
Next to that go up, increase the value of i. So i is 1 now. So the condition 1 less than 5, condition is 2. So let's enter 8 over on 1 person new I made. So right here, I'm going to enter 9. Now next that go up, increase the value of i. So i is 2 now. So the condition 2 less than 5, condition is 2. So that coincides. So let's enter 8 over 2 person new I made. So here I'm going to enter 13. Next, that curve increase the value of i. So i is 3 now. Or check the condition 3 less than 5. Condition is 2. So that coincides. So let's enter 8 over 3 position near mid. So at here, I am going to enter 7. Next, that curve increase the value of i. So i is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than 5. Condition is 2. So that coincides. So let's enter 8 over 4 position near mid. So at here, I am going to enter 12. Next, that curve increase the value of i. So i is now 5. Check the condition 5 less than 5 condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. So I enter i value start from 0 again. Check the condition 0 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So I enter int 4, j, 4 int j equal to i plus 1. So i value is now 0, 0 plus 1, j start from 1. Here after 1 less than equal to 5 condition is to that coincide. So I enter 8 over or 0 position greater than 8 over on j value is 1. So 0 position 11, 1 position 9. So 11 greater than 9, condition is to that coincide. So I enter 8 over all i. So 8 over all i is 0. So 8 over 0 position value go to tan. So tan is now 11. And here after 8 over all j. So 8 over all j position value go to 8 over all 0. So j value is now 1. So 1 position value go to 8 over all 0. So I enter 9 come. Next, a temp value go to 8 over on 1. So, temp value is now 11. So, 11 come to this point. So, at your new array elements are So, this is a 0 index. Here, 1. Here, 2. Next, to 3. Here after 4. So 9 comes to 0 index. Here after 11 comes to this point. Here after 13, 7, 12. Here after that go up, increase the value of j. So j is now 2. Check the condition 2 less than n value 5. Condition is 2 that coincides. So I have 8 over or i value is 0, j value is 2. So 8 over 0 percent greater than 8 over or 2. So 0 position is 9, 2 position is 13. So 9 greater than 13, that's not true, not coincide. Here after j increase. So j is now 3. Check the condition 3 less than 5. Condition is 2, that coincides. So I enter 8 over 0 position greater than 8 over 3. So 0 position is 9, 3 position is 7. So 9 greater than 7, condition is 2, that coincides. So I enter 8 over 0 position value go to tam. So 0 position is 9, so 9 go to tam. Now here after 8 over or j. So 8 over or j, so 8 over 3, position value go to 8 over or 0. So 3 position is 7, 7 comes to there. And here after our time value go to 8 over or j. So 9 go to 8 over or 3. So at here, 9 come. And the new array elements are So this is a 0 index. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have 7 come. Next, 11, 13. And here, this person, 9. So 3 person, 9. Here after, 12. Now, here after that curve, increase the value of j. So j is now 4. Check the condition for less than 5, condition is 2, so that coincides, so I enter i value is 0 and j value is 4. So 8 over 0 percent greater than 8 over or 4. So 7 greater than 2n, that's not true, so that not coincide. Here after j increase, so j is now 5. And here, check the condition 5 less than 5, condition is not true, so that not coincide. Here after that, out from for, uh, inner for loop and that go up, increase the value of i. So i is now 1, check the condition 1 less than 5, condition is 2, that coincides, so I enter j start from j equal to i plus 1. So i value is now 1, 1 plus 1, the value start from j, start from 2. 
So the condition 2 less than n value 5. Condition is true. So at 8 over r, 1 position greater than 8 over r, 2. So 1 position is 11 and 2 position 13. So 11 greater than 13, that's not true. So j increase. So j is now 3, 3 less than 5. Condition is true. That coincides. So at 8 over r, 1. So i value is 1. So 8 over 1 position greater than 8 over r, 3. So 1 position is 11, 3 position is 9. So 11 greater than 9. Condition is true. So at a a double r, one position value go to 10. So one position is 11, 11 go to 10. And here after a double r, j greater than a double r, 1. So j is 3 now. So a double r, 3 position value go to a double r, 1. So 3 position is 9. So 9 go to a double r, 1. So at here, 9 come. And here after 10 value go to a double r, j value is 3. So at here, 11 comes to this point. So here after that co op increase the value of j. So j is 4 now. J the condition for less than 5. Condition is to that coincide. So at a double r i. So i value is 1. A double r 1 position greater than a double r 4. So 1 position is 9 and 4 position is 12. So 9 greater than 12. Condition is not to not coincide. Here after j increase. So j is 5 now. J the condition 5 less than 5. Condition is not to not coincide. Here after i increase. So i is not 2. Check the condition 2 less than n value 5. Condition is 2 that coincides. So at here j equal to i plus 1. So 2 plus 1, j start from 3. And here check the condition 3 less than n value 5. Condition is 2 that coincides. So at here a over r i. So a over r i value is 2. So a over 2 position greater than a over r 3. So 2 position is 13 and 3 position is 11. So 13 greater than 11. Condition is 2. So that coincides. So at here, a double r i. So i is not 2. So a double 2 person value go to 10. So 2 person is or 13. 13 go to 10. And here after a double r j. So j is now 3. So a double 3 person value go to a double r 2. So 3 person is 11. So 11 go to 2. So this value is now move there. And here after time value go to a double r 3. So time value is now 13, so 13 comes to this point. So at your new array elements are. So this is a zero index. Here, one. Here, two. Here, three. Here, four. So at your seven. And here 9, here 11 comes to this point, and 13 comes to 3 person, and 2 and 4. So here after that curve, increase the value of j. So j is 4 now. J the condition 4 less than 5. Condition is 2 that coincides. So at here 8 over 2 person greater than 8 over or 4. So 2 position is 11 and 4 position is 12. So 11 greater than 12, that's not true. So that not coincide. Here after j increase, so j is 5 now. J the condition 5 less than 5, condition is not true. So that not coincide. Here after i increase, so i is 3 now. J the condition 3 less than 5, condition is true. That coincide. So at a 8 over 3 position greater than 8 over r. Oh sorry. At your i increase, so i is 3 now. That go up, check the condition 3 less than 5, condition is 2. So at your j equal to i plus 1. So 3 plus 1 or j is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than 5, condition is 2. That coincides. So at your a over r 3 greater than j value is 4. So a over r 3 greater than a over r 4. So 3 position is so 13, 4 position is 12. Condition is 2. So that coincides. So at your a over r i value is 3. So a over 3 position value go to 10. So 3 person is 13. So 13 go to 10. And here after 8 over r j. So 8 over 4 person value go to 8 over r 3. So 4 person is 12. So 12 go to 8 over r 3. So at here 12 go. And next 10 go to 8 over r 4 person. So at here 13 come. And here after that go up, increase the value of j. So j is now 5. Check the condition 5 less than 5. Condition is not to not coincide. Here after i increase. So i is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than 5. Condition is 
or choose that coincide side so j equal to i plus 1 so 4 plus 1 j is now 5 check the condition 5 n value 5 5 less than 5 condition is not to not coincide here after that curve increase the value of i so i is now 5 check the condition 5 less than 5 condition is not to so that not coincide so here control comes to this point so at here the new array elements are So this is the zero index here one here two here three and next four. So this point seven come next nine here eleven. So this value is now go to three or third location. So three index. So at your twelve come next thirteen. So here console class dot right line method. So new line that display second largest elements a double on n minus two. So n value is now i into five. So five minus two the value come three. So a double three index or twelve is there. So twelve display. So add here twelve display. Here after control comes to this point console class dot right. So this are displayed to our output screen as smallest element. So it all zero person is seven. So seven display. So a smallest element seven and second largest element here twelve. So largest element is thirty in the array and second largest twelve. And here this is the smallest number in the array. So this time I enter n value of five. You can enter n value seven, eight, whatever. So if you enter seven, so yeah, you have to enter seven elements into the array, and you have to do the same try and method for all seven elements. So the logic of the this program is first I do sorting of all elements. So after the sorting, so I store the element in ascending order. So smallest number that come first and biggest number that go last. So I do for a small number I have given the a to or zero so zero point seven seven so seven display and for second largest element so I we have to subtract a minus two so a minus two with number so that okay or second largest element so this is the try and method of this program so I hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week.